Hey, and uh, I'm back, and it's less than 15 minutes later, and Incel succeeded. So now it's going to restart. I'm going to restart it for itself. And uh, when we restart, we're going to again hit F8 and hold. Well, not necessarily hold, but at least get F8. Now it's the moment of truth. Did it work? Alright, so now uh, we're going to focus, and again we're going to choose the one which has our bootloader, which is the Jet Flash. And now I'm going to zoom out and let this bootloader load. Um, yeah, I really didn't expect it to get go this quickly, I'm going to be honest. Uh, but hey, I'm happy. Let's hope that translates into a very fast computer. So now we're going to go this time to the, the Mac OS X partition and hope that it boots without a kernel panic. So far it's booting. Now this is a good indication to see if the speakers are going to work. So far no kernel panic. You see the little spinning wheel? Yeah, that's very good. But as you can see it is booting and is doing the spinning wheel and if it hangs there it's generally because we did something wrong although it is stopping now it is stopping so it's loading let's put the speakers up to see if there's any music it is giving me an interface and it is giving me the video are you like this Use those keystrokes. Uh, do not transfer my data. Let's see if my webcam works. I don't have an Apple ID. I'm not going to register. Thank you. Now, in case you're wondering, internet does work. I was actually afraid that the internet wouldn't work, but if we go to my modem, internet works. We know that for a fact. But it didn't ask us. So uh, it's going to tell me to back up my files, all this. Okay, great. I can do all this with Apple. 
So now uh, I click go and now we're going to be into the first time into the UI and it just booted. Uh, do we have the translucent screen? I think so. Uh, but first it's going to ask me to help it uh, set up um, my keyboard. So continue. It's going to ask me press the key immediately to the right of the shift key on the left side. Okay, that, that's easy. It's, it's this key. I don't even know what, what to call it. So now it's going to tell me what my uh, keyboard is. I'm just going to go with the default done. And yeah, welcome. Uh, now what? Uh, let's, let's shrink the size of this dock. But before I do that, I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna leave this video by showing you that I have successfully installed 10.6.3 on my on my. Well, I'm so used to saying Acer Aspire One. No, it's on my Asus P5K PLCM motherboard, or my gaming computer. All right, um, and it detects everything. It detects. It detects my, my, my processor, although it, it says dual core. I didn't know that with that, that dual core and core 2 duo were the same. But hey, that's great. Uh, I have 2 gigabytes of RAM. So this should run very smoothly because Snow Leopard only needs 1 gigabyte of RAM. So we'll just click the X there. Um, now my question is, is there any kind of um, indicator? Okay, on your computer, Hit, uh, if you want to know if the dashboard works, you hit F12. Now, you, there's a plus button on the far left bottom corner. Add something and it should give you the ripple effect like it did me. Graphics is installed and works perfectly. That's basically what it means, folks. So, here we go. Um, I have installed Snow Leopard onto my computer, as you can see. And... Uh, now uh, I'm gonna let's let's see if uh, everything uh, restarts. So now let's see how fast this thing is gonna restart. And then we're gonna go into F8, and this time choose my hard drive. Oops. Okay. So this time I want to see and make sure that Windows isn't broken. So this hard drive here, and it should boot Windows. It should not give me any problems, and it doesn't. So here we go, friends. Um, <laughs> Windows and Mac on a PC. And so thanks for watching this video. Please do comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll get back to you when I get to the updating process, which should hopefully be easy. So, uh, I'll talk, uh, rate, subscribe, and comment.